Okay, now so we will go to our discussion in frequency distribution of uh, nominal data. Okay, so it's just right here the title of this topic. So we have frequency distribution of nominal data. So if you can remember what is the definition of nominal data, so the definition of that is we are going to go back to the previous video. So it is refers to a property of the members of a group defined by an operation which allows making of statements only of equality or difference. So an example of a nominal data is gender in which we could differentiate gender into two, so male or female. So that is how a nominal data works. So if you are going to to have a frequency distribution of nominal data, so we need two criteria. So the first one is you must have the label for the uh, the so-called categories. So categories, so label for categories or the statement of equality or difference. So for example, if your data is all about gender, so you must have a label for gender. Then the next one is you must have the frequency. Okay. So for example, so it's just a color green. So we have in a certain survey, so it's found out that out of 750 uh, students of engineering, so let's just have that one engineering. So uh, 250 are females, and the remaining, so 500 are males. So if you are going to have a frequency distribution of this one, so let's just uh, draw the table. So our table would consist of two columns. Two columns and three rows. Okay. So it's just... Okay, so we have this table now. Just stretch out this table. Okay. So we have here, I believe we have uh, one extra row. So let's just delete this one. Okay, so we have the first, we will, we will have a label here for the gender, so this will be the gender, gender, and this, the other one will be for the frequency. So we have the, the categories or the, the statements, gender, so it could be male, it could be female then we will have how many males so this will be 500 how many females so this will be 250 then we could add another column for the total so let's just insert the table here okay. Okay, I cannot insert the table a table insert below so we could have here for the total so that will be 750 this is how we're gonna go frequency distribution for nominal data if you are going to do another frequency distribution table now it will be for um, ordinal data so frequency distribution distribution for ordinal data 
So we have first, we have first the first column. The label must be again the statement or how the data are ranked. So or the ranking of the data because ordinal data is all about rank. So the ranking of the data. Then the second label will be about same as the nominal data will be about the frequency. Okay, so if we are going to have an example, so for example, we have a survey. So a survey that, um, a survey, a certain survey about the online class. No? So online class, so there are uh, 800, uh, 800 students surveyed for the online class. Online class. Okay, so they are asked if they are in favor, uh, in favor, um, or slightly favorable, or they are un unfavorable. So, for example, we have um, uh, eighty are in favor, so they are favor favorable. Then we have an. Um, 80 favorable then we have 90 so they are slightly favorable so meaning they are in between so maybe their connections are somewhat um, um, good in some uh, in some instances and sometimes also it is bad then the remaining so this is 170 this 170 is so 170 minus minus 180 that will be 630 so 630 are unfavorable so if you are go so these are their perceptions so you could call this one as perception towards online le online learning or online class so we could draw a frequency we are going to draw a frequency distribution for this one so we have again two rows for the statement and the frequency and we have one two three so three uh, two columns for the statement so that will be the perception and the frequency then one two three uh, four so four rows for the for the perceptions and the total so we could insert a table so we have one two three four so with the label itself, so we have five. Okay, so, okay, so we have here the table. I guess the table was not put on the right place, so it's just repeat the table. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, so let's just extend this table. Okay, so we have here so just write first the label for the first row. This will be the perception, and this will be the frequency. Then we have the perception. So we have here favorable. Tab then slightly favorable favorable so this is b then we have unfavorable then below will be the total since so the total in the other color to have a little uh, distinction so the frequency for favorable so 80 so 80 are favorable so therefore it is 80 so let's just have this one another color so let's um, have the color the same with the perception so this will be 80 then slightly favorable so 90 so we'll write here 90 then for unfavorable is 630 so the total is 800 so this is how you will draw the frequency distribution for uh, for uh, for ordinal data and the one above is for the nominal data so 
this one even it comes to uh, research so we will write here the the label so we, for example this is table so this will be the caption so table two um, perception so perception of students towards online class okay so that will be the caption for this table so if you are going to do a descriptive um, statistics for this one so you could say that a 630 of the uh, students uh, surveyed are not in favor or unfavorable of having the online class so if that is the case so you will be stating the factors or the reasons why they are um, not in favor of having the online class but uh, in terms of data analysis or in terms of data presentation so that is how you are going to present your data but because if you are going to present your data in this way the the one who will read your findings or we, who will uh, scrutinize your find, findings can understand it um, clearly by just looking at it we could see that 630 are unfavorable of having the online class okay so in next video we will have a uh, discussion about the frequency distribution for group data okay so thank you for watching and as always keep on studying